it finally happened, the aviation world just took a sharp turn. A U.S. company has just placed a jaw-dropping $2.2 billion order. Not for Boeing, not for Airbus, but for China's homegrown C919 jetliner. Yes, you heard that right. The West just blinked and the East is soaring. Is this the beginning of a global aviation shift? Stay with us, because what's unfolding is not just a sale, it's a statement. The C919, China's bold answer to Boeing and Airbus, developed by China's COMAC, Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, the C919 is the nation's answer to decades of Western aviation dominance. Twin-engine, narrow body, and designed to carry over 160 passengers, the C919 was once viewed as an ambitious underdog. Not anymore. With this deal, it steps squarely onto the global stage. Quick shots of C919 assembly lines, engineers' test flights, and its unveiling at air shows. Who is buying and why? So... Who's behind this $2.2 billion move? A U.S.-based aviation leasing firm, name undisclosed for now, has shocked the market with this large-scale bet on a Chinese aircraft. Industry insiders speculate this could be a response to Boeing's delivery delays and safety concerns. Others see it as a hedge against geopolitical risks, a signal that the industry is diversifying. Cut to expert interviews. Headlines flashing. C919 certified for commercial use. U.S. company moves away from Boeing? China's aviation rise unstoppable? What makes the C919 special? Let's talk specs. The C919 is equipped with advanced aerodynamics, fuel-efficient LEAP 1C engines, and avionics rivaling the best of the West. But here's the kicker. With significantly lower unit costs, the C919 offers airlines an economic edge without compromising passenger comfort or safety. Show cabin interiors, cockpit shots, and side-by-side -side comparisons with the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320. The ripple effect. This order isn't just a business deal. It's a geopolitical ripple. The aviation industry has long been split between Airbus and Boeing. But now, China has crashed the party and it's here to stay. Cut to analysts talking about shifting trade policies, global supply chains, and rising Eastern manufacturing. The implications are massive. Could this spur faster innovation in the U.S.? Will we see other countries follow suit? Or is this just the beginning of China's aviation dominance? Global reactions and Elon Musk's take. As expected, the reactions are split. Some hail it as smart diversification. Others war of over-reliance on Chinese tech. But even Elon Musk couldn't help but comment in a cryptic tweet. Legacy aerospace needs to wake up. Disruption is here. Show Twitter screenshots, expert commentary, Europe's quiet worry, and Boeing's wake-up call. While America debates the risks and rewards of this bold move, whispers are growing louder in Europe. Airbus, the EU's crown jewel, has long held sway in this market segment. But now, aviation insiders across Paris and Frankfurt are watching closely. Not just a plane, but a long game China is playing. Cut analysts from global think tanks and airshow press conferences. Meanwhile, Boeing is facing its own storm. Delayed deliveries. Quality control scandals. And now, losing customers to an aircraft that wasn't even on a radar a decade ago. It's not just a wake-up call. It's an alarm. The great build-up. How China engineered this moment. This moment wasn't born overnight. Behind the C919 lies a story of persistence state-backed funding, and a vision to challenge the aerospace monopoly. From wind tunnel tests in Shanghai to rigorous global compliance trials, the C919 has gone through a manufacturing metamorphosis that rivals Boeing's early jet-age journey. Show slow-motion factory footage, interviews with Chinese aerospace engineers, blueprint overlays. This is Beijing's moonshot, not just to build a plane, but to build a legacy. Simulators, safety, and Silicon Valley eyes. Already, U.S. tech giants and Silicon Valley venture firms are eyeing China's aerospace software stack. Comac's next-gen flight control systems, AI-backed safety protocols, and seamless cockpit UX have sparked real interest, not just in aviation, but across autonomous tech sectors. Cut to footage of flight simulators, software interfaces, and drone tech crossovers. This deal isn't just about wings and engines. It's about data, about code, about who programs the future of flight. 
the future of global skies. So what comes next? Already, analysts are projecting new deals from countries in Africa, Southeast Asia, and even South America. Regions that have traditionally bought Boeing or Airbus jets may now reconsider, especially as geopolitical tensions continue to reshape supply chains. Show flight route maps. Digital models of C919 fleets in new countries. Airline press releases. And at the C919's next-gen successor, the wide-body CR929, takes flight as planned? The skies won't just be more crowded. They'll be completely recharted. Africa, Asia, and the rise of aviation sovereignty. Nations long dependent on Western aerospace giants are now exploring new horizons. In Kenya, Vietnam, and Nigeria, aviation boards are reviewing COMAX pitch. The appeal? Lower costs, solid range, and perhaps most importantly, political neutrality in turbulent times. For many countries, the C919 represents more than a plane. It's a symbol of sovereignty, of no longer waiting on the West to fly. Wall Street's eyes turn east. Back in the United States, Wall Street is split. Some hedge funds quietly applaud the move, calling it strategic diversification. Others fear it's the beginning of a long economic erosion in America's high-value export sector. Regardless of which side they're on, no one's ignoring what just happened. A $2.2 billion check just rewrote the rules of aerospace competition. COMAX Playbook, Reverse Engineering to Global Disruption COMAX rise hasn't been accidental. From studying Boeing part by part to partnering with Western suppliers under the radar, their strategy has blended reverse engineering, legal acquisition, and homegrown innovation. Display layered graphics comparing C919 with Boeing 737 MAX, specs versus cost, supplier web diagrams. It's a mix of patience, ambition, and a fierce belief that China's time in the skies has come. What this means for America's aviation future. Now the question echoes across Washington, D.C. Will America respond? Will Boeing innovate or regulate? Will the U.S. double down on domestic manufacturing or lean into diplomatic pressure? U.S. Senate hearings, lobbyist reports, statements from the FAA. One order may not crash the empire, but it's a crack, a signal, a challenge that cannot be ignored. Boeing's crossroads. Inside Boeing's executive offices in Chicago, alarms aren't just blinking, they're blazing. The threat is no longer theoretical. COMAC has proven it can compete not just on engineering, but on market confidence. Boeing's options? Innovate faster. Cut inefficiencies. Or, as insiders fear, lobby harder to protect the skies through regulation. U.S. policy discussions. Analysts citing previous examples like Huawei and TikTok. Intelligence agencies weigh in. What began as a business deal is now a national security conversation. U.S. intelligence analysts warn of backdoors, data-sharing risks, and geopolitical strings attached to each C-919 order. Is this just a commercial plane? Or a Trojan horse cruising at 30,000 feet? The global domino effect begins. With the U.S. order made public, silence breaks elsewhere. Brazil's Joel Lin has hints at negotiations. Air India is rumored to request demos. Even budget carriers in Europe are asking, why not? Show whispering corridors of global aviation expos, secret meetings at Paris Air Show, a montage of shifting airline logos over C919. The domino effect has started. All it took was one bold buyer. Comac's moonshot, C939 and beyond. And Comac? They're not stopping. The next-gen wide-body jet, dubbed the C939, is already in wind tunnel tests. Hybrid electric models are being whispered about. A partnership with African genius Maxwell Chikambutso? Still unconfirmed, but rumored. Animated mock-ups of the C939, speculative futuristic variants, and potential tech crossovers with self-power propulsion tech. The age of Boeing versus Airbus is no longer the full picture. There's a third player now, and they're hungry. The global aviation reset. As the ink dries on a $2.2 billion contract, the message echoes far beyond corporate boardrooms and airfields. This isn't just a deal. It's a declaration. The age of Western monopoly in aviation is officially over. Fast-paced montage. Engineers in Chengdu celebrating. American CEOs watching screens. 
Global headline spinning. C919 gains ground. Washington watches warily. The skies are no longer western. The battle ahead. While the C919 ascends, the true battle is just beginning. Behind every contract lie geopolitical strings. Every new order triggers old tensions. And every successful flight pushes the world closer to a new balance of power. Because in this new chapter, aircraft don't just carry passengers, they carry influence. Final shot, a sky with three giants. Boeing, Airbus, Comac, three giants now circle the skies. But this is more than just competition. It's a race to define the future of flight itself. And the question is no longer the world will change, but how high it will fly when it does. The sky is no longer the limit. It's the new battleground.